Biting in the DMs is a practice as old as time itself. And with how many different ways there are to approach it, there's never been a clear-cut, foolproof plan of attack. But by golly, Adam Levine has gotten closer to cracking the code than anyone else has. I'm in the mainframe. Adam's most famous for sitting in a spinning chair on national television, but recently he's been making an even bigger splash. And I don't mean in the undergarments of the lucky ladies that he's been sending sweet nothings to. About a week ago, Instagram model Sumner Stroh posted a TikTok stating that she's been a part of an affair with a man married to a Victoria's Secret model. I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. Before she even took off in the industry herself, therefore feeling like she was easily manipulated. I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now. But I have to say that the messages that she shared that Adam sent her, nothing short of pure poetry, including Adam actually asking if he can name his newborn son after her. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby. And if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. The same day that Stroh posted her TikTok, two other women came forward saying Adam sent them similar messages, but they never exactly claimed it to be an affair. Oh yeah. Forgot to mention, Adam's been married since 2014 with two kids, and four days before the first allegation, actually announced that they're expecting a third. Sumner did say that while her and Adam's affair was going on, he claimed to be split from his wife. But to be honest, in situations like this, I never really believe either people involved, because one, he doesn't want to look like he's been having an affair, and she doesn't want to look like a homewrecker. So being tied to a story like this, it's like... I know the stereotypes. Whether you believe them or not, Adam's the biggest villain on social media right now, and I'm totally okay with it as long as these memes don't slow down. My biggest question out of all of this is why? More so, why do you think you'll get away with it when you're in the public spotlight as heavy as he is? No matter your place in society, cheating is wrong. But to be someone as famous as he is and think that you can actually get away with it is fucking hilarious. I've heard of celebrities cheating before in the past, but to put it in social media, a, a actual proof you, you gave receipt, you, Adam Levine is a fantastic cashier. If he loses his career from this controversy, he has a promising future working for Walmart. If anything, I think the only positive to come out of this situation, we get to see someone who's held as, you know, a, a, a sex icon like Adam Levine be brought down to our level because he sent messages that were nothing short of a drunk frat guy on a Saturday night. I also think it's important to remind people, this isn't this. Th these are... These are two different people. Leave, leave this one out of it. it. This one is good. We like this one. All right. This one, this one is protected. All right. Th this one, fucking have at him. I, <laughs> I think the biggest highlight out of all of this is Sumner not really. It, it, she says that she feels bad for Adam's wife and his family, whatever. Now Sumner did apologize to Adam's wife. She, she, she really took the time. To say that she's worried about how this is going to affect her own image. Um, hindsight is twenty twenty. I initially wanted to go in and talk about how remorseful I feel and how embarrassed and disgusted I am with myself. And again, that's exactly why I think she went back on saying, oh, I didn't know that he was married because she doesn't want to be tied to that label of a homewrecker because no one wants to deal with that. Uh, uh, oh, boy. While I'm researching, uh, you know, getting some more notes while I'm recording this, I found out that he also was hitting on his yoga instructor. See, again, don't don't cheat at all. Che cheating's not good. Whether you get caught or not, not good. Don't make it too easy. <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised if this is just the start of more women coming out about Adam, but I don't know what we expected from the guy whose body looks like a kid went ham on a sticker book.